Haiti Merritt with Insulin Nation. We're here at the American Association of Diabetes Educators in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I'm here with Peg Abernathy from Pancreum. Thank you so much for joining us at, on Five Spot. You bet. My, my pleasure. Great. Now, um, I know your product is awesome. I know Gil DePaula, he's a friend of mine. Um, how can your product make the diabetic's life better? Well, first of all, you know, we're not, we're still in the R&D stages. It's, it hasn't been approved or anything like that. But we're still developing it and we're looking for financing to keep that wheel going. It's the first uh, artificial, uh, wearable artificial pancreas, which is awesome. And the problem is, is that, you know, a lot of diabetes companies, they say that their product or services are gonna make uh, your your diabetes easier, or sweeter, or faster, or whatever. And the issue with that is that just because they are in business, they have to attract the widest range of diabetic patients, right? Yes. Well, as it turns out, it, it's hard, to, and that the challenge that that creates is the fact that it doesn't address the individuality of the changes in physiology and lifestyle of the individual patient, and that's where pancreas comes in is different. It's um, the key here is the three-part modular system of pancreas. It, it and that. Can you disclose that to us? I don't want to like infringe. No, that's fine. It's on the website. You can oh. see what it is. Fantastic. And basically, it gives us choice. I'm type one myself. It gives people like me choices. And I, how long have you had it? Um, 24 years. Nice run. Yeah. You look great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's you nice wear to hear. It well. Thank you very well. Sometimes yeah, it yeah, wears yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So wears me down, but yeah. anyway, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the main thing is that it gives you a choice of whatever configuration you want. Because it's, it's got a nucleus and then wedges that click in, you can choose what configuration you want. All of it, just some of it, just the pump maybe. Oh. And maybe next month you want to use pump and CGM. So the key is customization here. And that's what's going to, that truly, in my opinion, is taking pump therapy to the very next level. Uh, it really is, and that is news to me. Like, I didn't realize that that was an option with the uh, yeah. thing. I saw on the website, and wow. you, you can see the little video of kind of how it works. Again, we're not approved or anything like that, but we are still in R&D, and the the idea and the concept is awesome. Yeah, it really awesome. is. It really oh, is. Yeah, it is. Well, see, he's a visionary. It is. Yeah, it, it, he is. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing is, and the thing of it is, is that I love the idea that they are addressing the lifestyle aspect. This product addresses the lifestyle aspect. That it understands. Pancreas understands that everybody's different. And if everybody who had diabetes, if they took one unit of insulin and it did the same thing each time, you know, consistently, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. Our lives would be different. Same pump for everybody, but these broad strokes, they, they marginalize us in our treatment. Yep. I like any product that can get us, you know, can customize it as best as it possibly can to our individual needs. So. I totally agree. That's yeah. huge, huge. I think that's the key right here. Yeah. Um, what about the app for the Android that I hear about? Is that something you've done? Uh, no, that's still in development and that's kind of out of my scope. Okay. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Uh, what are you most excited about? Right. What are you most excited about on the diabetes technology horizon? Well, I've been working in the field for 18, 19 years, right? And I've had type one for 24 years. And for me, this business is personal. And so, you know, sure, I want a cure, and I want access to good, affordable health care. But um, stem cell research, islet cell transplantation, all that really excites me. Gene therapy. Um, but from a technological standpoint, again, that's why I'm hooked up with pancreas. Anything that can give me some facet of my life back for choices, I, I gravitate to that immediately. Right. I'm that's true. To the same old thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's really nice to have someone who has that attitude in this, you know, pump stuff. It, you know, diabetes is mainstream now. It's it's out there, and people have got companies have got to understand that it's more just than an A1C number or anything. Yep. It's a lifestyle. Yep. We want go those good numbers, but we also want to have a good life. Yep. We want to go to the soccer game or, you know, the Laker game or whatever. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> the years. Lakers, you're, it's a theme. I you love the them. Girl. Okay. <laughs> How about uh, Red Sox or Yankees? Uh, well, I'm sure they're very nice people. Right, there's two teams, Red Sox and Yankees. Okay. Do you like either one more? Do you like either one more? I do not have a preference. Do not have a preference. What if I had a gun to your head? Well, then I'd say the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, I'm no. Any, all right. All right. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Well. And um, we'll have to you know, pick up with this at another point. Absolutely. I'm really excited about your uh, research and technology. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming along. Yay. We'll see. Let's get some funding. All right. Thanks, Peg. Okay, thank you.